guys welcome back to our channel walk and talk with jesus this is samya i trust you're all doing really well and i really hope um, that you enjoyed um, watching the last four uh, videos um, and the word of encouragement that came from four wonderful and beautiful um, people so i want to get back into routine from this week and uh, i want to bring something that lord has been teaching me in this particular season that i am in right now it's kind of very sensitive topic to me because <laughs> i'm a person that doesn't want to show out my honest feelings most of the time i try to keep them in my heart and i try to pretend really well <laughs> so um recently you you've seen that i was not active on um uh, the youtube as well um just like in the first video of this year i told you all that I'm kind of <laughs> hibernating myself so yeah um, and you know we all have the seasons in our lives and it was one of the seasons that I needed time my personal time with the Lord and you know get that alignment with him you know um, so the beautiful God uh, our God will never leave or never forsake us so that's that's the beauty of our God um, so one of those things that he spoke to me in the in that journey uh, while I was like you know trying to know him more was uh, uh, this topic that I'm going to bring it before you guys right now um, I hope this will encourage you so let me ask you a question before we go into the video uh, do you feel vulnerable any time in your life or did you ever feel vulnerable or did you feel that you are lost or not worthy or not able to achieve anything or you know all these questions the mind games um, that usually satan try to play with us and sometimes we can't even blame satan because we do that to ourselves too um you know the self-pity um insecurity all these things and and try to let's try to be honest with us right now you know because the word that lord spoke to me um was be honest so uh what he revealed to me was i was not being honest to myself also i was pretending even before me we get caught up in life so very much that we try to pretend before the world before the family members before friends before church that everything is fine that you are leading a very good life and you try to cover up all those hidden hurts or pains or doubts anything that you are dealing with at that moment and, and i guess we get too busy in doing that and without our knowledge we even try to pretend before ourselves you know like we, we even try to tell ourselves that that it's okay and and, and sometimes yeah like I've, I've heard a saying in america that sakira barka or and and sometimes it is it is true that we have to um take the life in a way you know that uh, uh, it is a learning phase and all this stuff but you should be honest to yourself so that's what lord spoke to me um from these scriptures i was i was going through the uh, study and then um actually i was not even studying the scripture but lord has brought it to my mind a few months before and uh, i want to uh, share that with you guys so for me anything in the bible if it is written once it's really important because bible is really important bible is the letter um to me that god has written with full fullness of love you know that's him like word is him so so it's really important and in the gospels if you see there are the uh, repeated topics repeated uh, scenarios repeated parables so i believe that they are very much even more important for our lives and that's the whole reason why holy spirit let them write multiple times and we see the different scenarios because uh, Luke has a different perspective when he was watching this whole scene and then that would he, he would put in the words and Matthew had a different perspective because he would watch probably from far or from the behind the scene so he could capture some other things and mark the same way and then John ha also has some similar things but honestly I usually like uh, to uh, read uh, 
the the writings of Luke because I really feel like his writings are more detailed but in this particular situation I am in favor with Mark um, um, this this story is written in all the three Gospels I will put them down there um, you will see them on the side it's in chapter 9 of Luke uh, from verses 37 to 42 and uh, it's also in Matthew it's from chapter 17 and verses 14 to 19 and from mark it's in the chapter 9 again from 14 to 28 so it's the same story of this man who has only son and who who is demon possessed from his childhood um, and the disciples were not able to heal him and then he cries out to the Lord and Lord heals him um, but there is this beautiful thing that Lord opened my eyes when I was going through this you know um, scripture in Mark, it's written that uh, the boy was also mute. Uh, I don't think it's it's mentioned in Matthew or Luke. Uh, there are so many points actually we can go back and uh, do the study on and learn so many things in here. Um, we we see when when this boy uh, who's possessed with the demon when he saw Jesus, the demon started like you know doing his stuff. Um, so that that's one topic the whole big topic that we can meditate on but for some other time but the most important thing here was jesus says you know do you believe and if you do you know everything is possible and then this man was let's let's be honest like you know let's talk it out um if if this man didn't believe would he be able to bring this son to jesus or his disciples and and hope and you know he says that you know i was hoping that your disciples could deliver him so he there was little faith in him and, and the word says that little faith is enough right little faith as the mustard seed is enough for you to move the whole big mountain i believe that this man had complete faith or according to me complete faith in the lord that his little boy his only son his only son um, in Luke 9th chapter it is written that his only son will be healed through the Christ and then here Jesus asks if you believe you know that you will be your son will be healed and he goes that I do have faith but would you please help me with my unbelief that means like you know I if I put myself in his shoes I think that unbelief comes from fear because you know no matter what we ask uh, the Lord, like not to do miracles in our lives, uh, when when these things seem completely impossible or like you know, these are like uh, the greatest things, and you know everybody starts telling us that it's not going to happen or like all the circumstances will push you, believe that it's it's like impossible for this thing to happen or anything like that. You know the fear comes, the fear surrounds our hearts and there is a little bit of unbelief somewhere in the back end of our heart you know there is a little bit of room for unbelief i i believe that's what this man is going through and he was and and, and and he didn't put that to himself he didn't hide it he didn't pretend it he didn't say that yeah i have faith um i'm good he didn't he was completely vulnerable he was honest he was like lord help me with my unbelief and today, that's what God is talking to you, which God has spoken to me. I was in a phase that I was pretending about myself to me. I was pretending before the Lord and one time he called me out and he's like, Samia, who are you trying to pretend before? Who are you pretending before? Is there anything that you could hide from me? Because I kept probably saying the Lord that, you know, I'm fine, Lord, you know, uh, we are good, our relationship is good. But, you know, in Isaiah, the first chapter, by the end of the chapter, he says, come down, let's settle this matter. Just sit down with me. And he calls you and me more often like that when we have a bad day or when we don't have that alignment with the Lord or, you know, when, when not everything is going as planned, anything that is disturbing us. He's like, you know, come down, sit with me, let's settle this matter. So that day he was like, what is it? And then he was like, be honest with me. I just opened up and I said that, Lord, I am having problem to have faith. I'm, I'm having trust issues, you know, like nothing is happening. So maybe 
I don't know what, where I'm going wrong. All these questions like, you know, why is that not working out? Why is this not working out? Why am I not able to move forward? Why am I not able to find the solution? Why am I not able to be happy? So many questions and, and all these questions is leading me to the unbelief. With the unbelief and I'm losing my hope. So, and, and then he goes, then why don't you ask me to give you more faith? That's when he pointed this uh, scripture, just like this man as, Lord, help my unbelief. Give me some more faith. And what? And guess what? From all the uh, gifts of the Spirit, the first one is the faith. He said, believing in him is one of the gifts that God gives us. And he's like, it's a gift freely given to you. And when you don't have enough, why don't you ask me? I am here to help you. So I just want to encourage you guys, if you're going through some kind of phase in your life, a season that is not so good, that you're probably not enjoying so much, or you might be losing hope or having trouble to have faith in the Lord or in you or the things to come together and work together. And that could be anything. Um, God is asking you to be honest, be vulnerable. And you don't have to be honest to the next person or like, you know, to anybody else if you're not comfortable, it's okay. But be honest with the Lord because He, you can't hide anything before Him, just like He said. And instead, rather, if we would be honest and if we would ask for help, I'm, I'm sure that He would love to help you. He would love to pull you out. So God is talking to you today. If you are struggling with something, if you are struggling spiritually, if you are struggling with some kind of addictions and thinking that you cannot come out of them anymore because you've been trying this for so long, you've been in rehabilitation center for so long, your health is not well for so long, you've been sick for so long, and if you don't know if you can be well anymore, or if you don't know if you'll see any kind of breakthroughs in your life, and that is depressing you and making you not have hope anymore, or you know, all these questions, just try to be honest with Him. Try to be open with Him and then say that, Lord, I want to believe you. Would you please help me with my unbelief? And just like God helped Him, and just like God healed this little boy, I'm sure that God is going to heal you and me from whatever we are suffering with. I just want to bring this, bring this um, beautiful reminder to you guys and I hope that this will help you and encourage you and this will give you strength and power uh, to go and fight your battles with the help of the Holy Spirit. Um, so that's what I got for you guys. Um, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet. And go ahead and like it if you like it. And please share with your friends and family members. I'll see you next time. You all have a blessed day. Bye.